Isn't it incredible? It's beautiful and it's big. The artist spends six hours a day, every day, working on the piece. Just to see how she like sketches it on such a small paper and then how she has to transfer it up there and then paint from there, it, it's fascinating. I'm Julia Williams, and I'm a mural artist. Yeah, it's funny to be dreaming about something. Be like, oh man, it'd be so cool to get to do this, and it feels so far away and so unachievable, and then suddenly it's happening. A little bit about CORE's history is that we've been around for 150 years, which is longer than Colorado has been a state. Uh, celebrated a big 150 year anniversary of Coors Brewing being in the city of Golden this year. And so we really wanted to have a mural that once celebrated the 150 years, also left a legacy for the next 150 years and did a nod to the culture and the really great connection that we've had in the city of Golden. Should have done my morning stretches. There are a lot of administrative and logistical pieces of this project um, that are a lot different than the scope that I'm usually used to working with. For this project, I needed to hire a bunch of other artists. I had to get them all kinds of different training, industrial safety trainings, uh, aerial lift certification trainings, uh, core specific trainings, and all of that was totally new to me. Uh, so that was an interesting process, getting all of those things going before we could actually start uh, the painting portion of the project. I don't think any of us have done anything like this or even know anyone who's done anything like this. Just the scope of this project is pretty wild. Um, so everyone's really stoked to work on something so big, something that's gonna be really visible. It's gonna be an iconic piece on a Colorado landmark that's been here for over a hundred years. And uh, yeah, that's pretty awesome. So I think something that was pretty wild was you know, getting up on the roof there that first day, seeing the huge, production, AKA construction project that had had to happen for all of those lifts to be on the roof. And there were like a ton of uh, iron worker guys up there to help us that week uh, learn how to use the lifts and keep us safe and get us anything that we needed. And <laughs> yeah, just being up there and being like, wow, look at all of these people working on this project. Like, this is amazing. Uh, so, so far we've primed the wall. We did this doodle grid on the wall and got most of that sketch up on the wall yesterday. Uh, right now we are putting some color in the mountains, just some basic boss color. Uh, later we'll come in and do a lot more detail work in here, but this is just to kind of get the base going. Um, I think it's going to feel really awesome as we start color blocking this entire thing. It's going to feel really vibrant and colorful and like really give a sense of what the piece is going to look like uh, once it's finished. We had a lot of finicky lift problems for the first week or so. Let's go down a little bit. Oh, not, is it not going? It's not letting me. Uh, we need to be let down manually. We're, uh, we reached our emergency stop point. Oh, all right, all right, wait, stop. We can get to Never our- Never mind, we're back in business. I felt like I specifically gained a ton of skill when I was working on cleaning up the Coors lettering and uh, doing these really, really crisp lines that are subtly curving over 30 feet in height. <laughs> and just like having the right perspective in your brain to be like, how is this line gonna continue? <laughs> and making that look perfect. 
I, yeah, I felt myself leveling up very hard during that and I'm super happy with how clean it came out. It was amazing having a team. I've never really gotten to have a team before. I'm always by myself. And so getting to split up the work and the artists that I hired are all super, super experienced, wonderful artists and also really, really dedicated hard workers. And it was amazing to just get to trust them to do the things that I asked them to, and even for them to self-direct at times. I was a little bit worried about today because we wanted this to be the last day of painting, but it kind of looked like it was going to be raining all day. Uh, we decided to come anyway, and it's a little bit drizzly, but not too bad, definitely not too rainy to paint, so uh, it's actually quite nice and cool, good painting weather, so we're gonna finish up the main painting today. So with that, I am delighted to invite muralist and our Vada native, Julia Williams, to the podium to say a few words about the mural that she has thoughtfully designed. such an honor to be here with all of you to celebrate this monumental occasion. I think I just want to say that it, this was such a special project because where I grew up in Arvada is only about five miles away from the Coors Brewery and I remember going to Golden a lot when I was a kid and passing by Coors all the time and just to have like a staple of a community like that and to be able to put my mark on that and to make it more beautiful uh, for everyone who lives there, it just makes me super proud. <laughs> like who would have thought that I would get to do this? It's awesome. Two, three. Dinosaurs! Dinosaurs! 